Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is the Terminator, and today we'll be um, taking our first look at naval action. So, if you guys have never heard of naval action, it's basically a um, game that. Hold on, let me think of what I'm gonna say. You can enter the Car the Caribbean during uh, the. I think it's af. Yeah, it's after um, the American Revolutionary War is when it takes place, I believe. Um, or maybe between it, but um, you're mostly fighting for the Caribbean. But you can also f um, fight for some of the southern states in the United States, like some ports right here. You can see some um, Florida ports, some Georgia ports. And I think, um, I don't know what state that um, is in, but um, hold on, I'm just going to type in chat. So, um, if you can see, I'm on, I'm part of the Pirates faction. Okay, so the top sail says hi. Um, here are the countries. So, neutral is not a playable faction. Um, España is, of course, Spain. Great Britain, you have Denmark. And, um, Norway, I believe. The U.S., you have Pirates, France. Uh, I think that's Germany, Sweden, and, uh, Freetowns. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump into some combat here. It says they know uh, they know you are here. And there's also, in this game, there's also a ton, ton of quotes from Pirates of the Caribbean, like the first movie. Which, of course, if you guys haven't seen it, you should probably go see it. It's, uh, it's on Netflix. And I do have a fleet. Uh, I'm in a Navy brig, and we're going against a brig. Uh, looks like a neutral brig. I have a Linux and a Cutter in my fleet. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and order them to destroy as soon as the battle timer, um, as soon as we can start. Okay, so now I just hit destroy. So now they go after it. Alright. In my Navy brig, I do not have my full crew. The full crew is actually supposed to be 135, but I have 120 crew. Because in Pirates, I'm only rank 3, which is Scoundrel. Okay, I'm going to try to not hit my Linux. My Linux was actually originally part of my fleet. I just got my um, Cutter. Um, those ships are available for hire. The Linux is 12,100 gold, and the Cutter is 18,100 gold, and I had, le had 24,000 gold. So I was able to hire them. And... So looks like... Looks... Oh, God. Uh, my cutter's taken some pretty bad hits. My, um... Linux has only taken minor damage so far. Uh, so yeah, this is a neutral brig, it looks like, because it's not flying a nation flag. Uh, look, we can look. So he's, his rank is a first lieutenant. Um... My cutter's rank is Master and Commander, I believe, and my Linux is rank Ensign. So, hopefully, if this, uh, th if she turns, um, I can open fire. So I think that's Jasmine. I don't know. I don't know. Some European name, whatever it is. Some kind of European name. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and turn right here. Get into our position. So on my ship, I actually have um, long six cannon, long long six um, caliber guns, which are s six black powder guns. Um, I don't know what these guys have, but I think they have base four medium can base four caliber medium cannons. I think is what they have, which are the stock. Um, once when you first join the game, you get a basic cutter with those guns on it. But you can upgrade to long sixes. It, the cutter will take long sixes, which they have a medium reload rate, but um, good, um, but, but very good accuracy. As you can see, I got seven hits right there and took killed two of his crew. So we've taken out three of his crew so far. Oh, crap! I'm sailing into the wind. And it looks like my uh, cutter is taking the most damage. 
in the last battle I went into, which was actually um, an Admiralty order, um, which is um, to search and destroy near a certain port, I got um, selected near um, actually a British and a f um, free and a new. Is it a neutral or free town? No, it's a free town. Um, it's just. I think it's. I can't remember where it is. No, I can't remember where it is. It's like. Um, I think it's in Haiti somewhere. Yeah, I think it's in Haiti if you guys know where the present day country Haiti is. Um, okay. Uh, my Linux now has reload shock. So that means my two sh my two escorts have reload shock. If they take enough damage, I'm gonna make them retreat um, to friendly territory. Then um, after the battle, I'm gonna sail to um, a port and get them repaired. But I think I'm just gonna show you guys this combat because I think sailing and exploration, looking for admiralty orders, is kind of boring. So, yeah, the seas that are currently available right now are the Caribbean, the Gulf of Mexico, and the Atlantic. The furthest east you can go in the Atlantic is actually a small group of islands, um, all controlled by the British. We actually, us pirates, we actually used to have one port there, but uh, unfortunately we lost it. I don't know how, I think the British just conquered it. And I think we only have, like, s five or six pirate ports left in the Caribbean. And then we, and then if we, and then we have, um, and then we have, a, here, I'm going to turn right. Oh God, my cutter's taking a lot of damage, but he's taking a lot of damage too, which is actually pretty good. My, um, my escort's actually doing uh, good stuff. Let's make sure they're on destroy mode. Yeah, they're on destroy mode. Okay, let's make sure... I'm just going to click it again. So I've not, I've lost none of my crew yet. Um, my cutter hasn't lost any crew. Um, my Linux has lost one crew, man. Normally they have 50. So the brig um, is actually not as strong as the navy brig, which is what I have. It can only have a max of a 110 crew. This ship can have a ma has to have a max crew of 135. Its battle rating is actually 70. I think it's higher than the Briggs uh, battle uh, BR. But um, this game is actually currently available on Steam. It's in alpha right now. Um, it's currently $40. Um, so I suggest you guys better buy it before um, before the price goes up because I think when the game releases the price is going to go up another twenty dollars because as many as most gamers should know that when new titles come out um, that are like really popular they're usually like sixty dollars like Star Wars Battlefront it is sixty dollars I think it's still sixty dollars because it only came out four months ago so so I can leave because I haven't uh, done a hostile act, but I'm not going to leave my escorts behind. I'm not going to leave them. Ooh, my Linux almost hit him. So, alright, so I'm going to go ahead. Looks like his sails are on depowering, which is good. Oh no, he just powered him up again. So they have to watch out for me. See, my cutter is steering away from me. Now I'm going to wait until they're done firing. Okay, so they're done firing. Okay, so he's ringing his bell at me to make sure I wouldn't hit him. No, it's all right, bro. I got you. What about my Linux? Where's my Linux? Oh, he's over there. I can't. I can see him, but I just the problem is, is that some of my shots might go over, so I don't want to hit him. Ow! There we go. I'm getting some. Okay, so I took out one of his cannons. That's good. So I disable one of his guns on his starboard side. And his starboard side is pretty weak. We're actually doing some pretty good damage to him. In my last one, which is the Admiralty Order, I actually got five leaks on him. And I told my Linux to retreat because he was taking a lot of lots of damage. I told him to retreat. And I was able to finish him off by myself. Looks like he's stuck in the wind because he's reversing. So that means he's stuck in the wind. So I'm pulling out of the wind right now. 
So I'm gonna try to get a um, in firing position with my starboard guns. Um, yeah, he's trying to get out of the wind, but this is a good advantage for us because now we can hit him while he's in the wind because he's pretty slow in the wind. Because the wind is against him, it's not behind, it's not f blowing into his sails. So I just took out another gun, so now he has um, only. S How many guns does he have on the side? One, two, three, four, f I can't tell. I think he has eight guns, and then it's uh, seven. I could look, I have. Oh, wait, my phone's on my bed, never mind. my cutter stuck in the wind? Yeah, I think my cutter stuck in the wind. Ugh, this, my, if my Linux could get out of the way, I could have uh, gotten some shots off. But my Linux is actually hitting them. For AI, they're actually pretty... They're actually pretty... I'm surprised with the AI in this game, because it's actually pretty tough. Like, this brig is AI, but with two... You can hire five ships in your fleet. Oh, God. No, don't hit him, don't hit him, don't hit him. Oh, thank God, okay. Okay, I just gotta wait for my cutter to get out of the way, because I don't want to hit him. There is friendly fire in this game, of course. As there should be, because that makes the game super realistic. There is friendly fire, so I'm trying to avoid friendly fire. I am hitting his sails, but I'm getting a, um, some bounces. So I got two hits in his sails, so that we should see tears in his sails. Or maybe I hit his rigging. Um, I think I hit his rigging. Can't really tell. Uh, my Linux is actually doing pretty good. Uh, my cutter is doing okay. He actually, I think he has more health. As soon as I get out of the wind, I'll be good. Alright, I'm getting out of the wind. Yeah, but I think sailing around, like, exploring is, like, the most boring part of naval action. I wish you could accelerate time, because in, like, uh, some titles, like Silent Hunter, like the Silent Hunter series, if you guys, um, play or played that, I used to play it. I, put, I played the latest one, which came out six years ago, which is, um, the fifth one, which is, um, you take, you can take command of a variety of, uh, Nazi U-boats, um, which, in in that time, you can actually speed up time. Uh, like, when you're patrolling, looking for ships, you can speed up time. until, And then if you see, like, a warship or something, it instantly slows down your time acceleration to 16, I think. And then you just turn it off, and then you can just uh, look, inspect the ship. If it's a merchant ship, um, you can attack it. If it has guns, you should probably submerge. Like, even if it has AA guns. If it has AA guns... Uh, don't get too close to it, otherwise you'll be in range of the AA guns. If it has, like, deck guns, then submerge. Because all it can hit is your periscope. Because then all it would be able to fire at is your periscope. Alright, six hits. I took killed another one of his crew. He only has 101 crew. I've lost no hands so far. My and only, only my Linux has lost um, a man so far. Okay, that back, that second back gun missed. I don't think it hit my ship, hit my ships though. Yeah, but these are hired ships. These are AI. Now, I would prefer, I think eventually in my fleet, I'm going to get some like real people to join my fleet if I can get some of my friends that play naval action. One of my friends, he actually plays for the Royal Navy and, um... I've been try I have not been exchanging information with them because I don't want the Royal Navy to find out about um, some of our um, piracy acts. Right now, I'm mostly engaging neutral ships. Um, I did engage a British naval, um, no, not navy, big traders brig um, yesterday, and I haven't and I didn't tell my friend about it. And I didn't tell my friend about it. Because that would be a very dumb idea. So it looks like... I think he has a leak. I think one of my ships scored a leak. Maybe. Oh, God.
Okay, so um, the enemy ship has been hit 43 times, twice in his sails, taking out three of his guns and six of his crew. Wait, I don't actually. I don't think that's. I think that's someone. I think it's one of my ships. Come on, Linux, fire! No, no, no! Don't fire at me, Linux. Okay, I don't. My Linux is not gonna fire. That's good. So he doesn't want to hit me, which is good. My cutter. He's going to follow the Linux. But I think I'm going to deliver the killing blows. No, don't fire. Dude. He's firing. He's stupid. He got, I think he got a hit, though. Nine hits. Two hits on the sails. One on the cannon. And three crew. So he's lost 13 crew. Yeah, it looks like I think one of my ships scored a leak. Oh yeah, one of my ships scored a leak. It was either the Cutter or the Linux. Yep. Battle's over. Alright, so now we're going to hit leave. Okay. So I received 10,000 and... S wow, 10,067 gold and 81 XP. Uh, let's see my damage. Um, oh god, my rudder hit got hit real bad. Jeez. Okay. Um... We're going to hit OK. Getting lost in the fog. Yeah, I've heard that before. OK. See, so yeah, um, I really like the pictures. Uh, hold on. So I can just go into here and I can just hit repair. OK, I'm good. So now I have 15,585 gold and I'm 362 out of 2,500 um, XP to the next rank. OK, so... I'm going to go ahead and I'm in the wind. Seriously? Okay, so um where am I? Ah, here I am. Now I remember. Yeah, um this is Haiti right here and then this is the Dominican Republic. I'm on the Haiti side. Or is it Hatiti? I don't know. Hey, I'm just going to call it Hatiti. Um and yeah, I was um this is a free town, which means I can dock there because any any nation any faction can dock there. So I'm gonna go and dock at that port because it's like the nearest safe port, even though there's a Royal Naval port right next to it, which is um, Port de Pax, I think, or Pyx, I don't know. And I can't. And the reason it says not visited yet is because I haven't docked there because I can't because that's part of the Royal Navy and the Ro and um. Our main enemy, um, as as us pirates, their our main enemy is <sighs> our main enemy is the royal fleet. So yeah, look. Okay, so right there is an is a British uh, privateer and it has a Linux escort. What's that? Oh, it's the snow. The snow. Um, it's actually kind of it's s sort of a small ship, but it's actually pretty deadly. Like, I think I'm a lot... My ship is a way bigger than the snow. From a distance, I think it is. But once you get closer to it... There's a British trades cutter and a fleet cutter. Like a main cutter. Yeah, but I bought this Navy brig. I was a, I scraped up all of my savings... To buy this... Um, I literally had to sell like some of my modules I had on my cutter to um, just get enough money that I was um, enough gold that I was able to afford it. Hmm, the winds are blowing to the west. That's not good because I I need I'm trying to sail east. Now I have to turn towards the southeast. So yeah, that is Port um, de Pyx. If you can kind of see there is the Royal Naval flag. Um, <sighs> I don't think that's the Royal Naval flag from this t correct time period. I'm not entirely sure, but um, I'm just gonna go and tie up at that tie up at the neutral, po the free town. Ooh, that's an actual player, a flag captain, H. W. Staling on uh, the uh, Constitution. Yes, the USS Constitution is in this game. Looks like I hope he doesn't engage me, cause that'd be I'd be screwed if he engaged me. Okay, so I can attack him, but I'm not going to, because that'd be a dumb move. Yeah, he's not going to engage me. You're smart, dude. Don't engage me. Yeah, he's smart. Okay. 
Uh, there's that privateer in that in that Linux. I don't know if he targets me, then this video might go. Ext I might. I'll just cut off the video if he engages me. But I need to repair my Linux and my um, cutter. So, H W chopper. Okay, so he just he just asked if he was gonna attack me, and I said. Uh, he just asked if we cool, which means I won't attack him, and I said, yes, I'm not going to attack him. Uh, it, it's not worth it, in my opinion. Okay, so he says he only tries to attack the U.S. and not pirates. If he, ha I think if he has to, he... Um, he will attack pirates. But since I'm not doing anything, I'm not going to attack him at all. Alright, so let's just say, okay, we good. We good. Alright, so we're good. Alright, that's so we're fine. I'm not gonna engage him and he's not gonna engage me, so that's good. This is look is it a shallow water? No, it's a deep water. So there's this is just like a small strip of land off um um Hatiti. I don't know how you say it. So yeah, there it is. Um Latoru is a free town and it's a deep water harbor and if it's a free town that means I can ank that means I can um dock there so that's where I'm gonna dock we actually used to have Barakoa but um like a, almost a month ago they took it and um they also took some of these we actually captured this from the Americans Selena Point and Ragged K we took those from the Americans but the Royal Navy has kind of been it's taking some of our ports, which is not cool. So I hope I hope that um, that Constitution Captain doesn't um, come and watch this video because I've kind of been talking mean about the Royal Navy. So I really hope he doesn't kick my ass, you know. Okay, well I'm gonna tie up at port and repair, and then at at on the next episode I'm gonna sail out of Latordu and um, continue. The farthest north I've been is um, somewhere near um, Arthur's Town. There we go in the Bahamas, and I might and I kind of have plans to sail from Arthur's Town to actually Nassau, which is of course the capital of the Bahamas. If you got, I actually I have I really want to go to the Bahamas, but because of Zika virus, I'm not going to go anytime soon. And I and I live in Southern California. And, um, we actually, I actually heard on the news a couple of days ago, there's the first confirmed case of, um, Zika in, um, the county I live in. So, I was like, oh, God. Okay, so, we go to fleets, uh, repair. Oh, actually, my Linux is at 87% health, and my cutter is only at 80. I thought it was, the damage was a lot more severe. Alright, so they're fully repaired. Um, I could hire another Linux, but I'm not going to. But um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Go ahead and dominate that like and subscribe button. And don't forget to share the video with your friends. And um, yeah, another I am going on a camp out today uh, for Boy Scouts. And I, I don't think I'll have time to do another video tomorrow, even though it's just over an overnight one. Because, well, actually, maybe. I don't have very much homework. My teachers usually give me weekend homework, which I do not like at all. But I think I might be able to record a video. It's probably going to be um, Battlefront. Because I haven't done a Battlefront video in... I think it's... Yeah, my last one was a month ago. And I did get to rank 50. I did get to 50. I do have Twi'lek and Shadow Trooper. And I'm really hyped for um, the next... I'm really hy hyped for the level cap going up to 60.
and some new star cards, and of course, uh, Greedo, which he's going to be working for the Empire, so <sighs> hashtag Greedo hype. I'm really hyped for Greedo. Not as much um, whatever uh, the Solistinian's name is, I don't know. But um, yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Go ahead and dominate that like and subscribe button. And don't forget to share the video with your friends. And until next time, guys, peace out and may the force be with you.